Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Planning and Teaching. Today is a new Teacher Tuesday. I'm sorry that um, the last one got uploaded so late within the week, but it's up already and I will leave a link below to go to that. Um, so we're gonna jump right on into planning for December. Remember December is this absolutely beautiful red and white polka dot and I love the red foil so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into these last couple of weeks here in December and I'm gonna pop this out because I no longer need it right now all right and so let's move this out of the way and let's get started. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different because I need new stickers. I'm out of my old ones. So I'm gonna pull out my student sticker book and I'm gonna look for the subjects section here. It's not in the pink sticker book. So let's look in the purple one. And please excuse my nails. They need to be redone. So they look a little crazy, but it's all right. So I'm just going to use these little clear stickers up here at the top. So language arts always goes here. And then I have I use this one for English reading, which will go here. Then writing which doesn't have one then I'm gonna use history for social studies and I'm gonna write in the rest of them so of course we have writing and then we have small group and reteach and I'm gonna call this one action items for just things that I need to get done things that are due that sort of thing all right so I know Friday is the 15th so I'm gonna start there because I don't have my calendar pulled up teacher sticker books and I'm gonna start of course with and also my little sheets that I like to keep out let's see we have and I always like to lay down um, some things okay so Friday I am taking a personal day so I'm gonna write put that down first and we also go to PE so I think I am out of plain stickers I think I have basically used them all so I'm just gonna kind of write those in so we go to PE on Friday and Monday and then we go to art on Tuesday and we go to um, the library on Wednesday and then the computer lab on Thursday. All right. So I already know that I am giving a test we are testing this week on both Monday and Tuesday and so I'm gonna put that down for Monday and Tuesday it's going to affect my reading block so that's where I'm gonna put it 
I also know that we are doing an actual quiz in social studies. And I'm gonna move it to, I'm gonna have it on tomorrow. It was supposed to be Friday, but it was a snow day. And um, I'll go into more details about that in a moment. I know I want to give another quiz on Thursday because I want to finish up all of my grades this week. Um, and that's going to be in reading. Yep. And let's see. I'm not going to give them any homework, but they will have an assignment scheduled on Friday that they need to complete. So I'm going to put that there on Friday. And I'm just kind of working around and seeing what all stickers that I need to place. Um, I am going to... Let's see. I'm not giving out homework. Don't have a staff meeting. So let's look in our um, teacher sticker book. I'm going to start with the yellow one. This is the oldest one. Um, and just kind of grab a few stickers to lay around in different places. So I'm liking the red and the teal. So I think I'm going to go with that color scheme this week. Red, teal, and black, of course. So I'm going to put it here. And yeah, I laid it crooked, so let me pull that out. All right. Lay this just right. All right, so next week will be week nine. So this is um, week 2.8. So I'm going to put that in here. So I'm going to lay down two of the red ones on this day. And then I'm going to grab two of my teal. And I always skip my, um, Mondays for language solely because that's my introduction day for reading. It takes a little bit longer. Um, even if I'm doing something for two weeks, it takes um, a little bit longer to introduce it. So I just keep it simple and have my introduction day for language on, on Tuesdays. Because I also introduce writing on Mondays as well, so that's a lot. And if we end up starting a new social studies chapter, it's introduced on Monday as well. So I just save language for later. I would have loved to tie in just a little bit of, I think green will go well with this. So I'm gonna use this green right here. And right here. To lay down for writing and then finally for social studies I want I was hoping there were some more flags in here somewhere that I could use But I don't think there are. So I'm going to flip back to my stickers. Because I'm definitely going to be using a few more stickers this week. I'm feeling really decorative. It's Christmas time, you know. So I'm definitely going to be using a few more stickers. So let's look in the newest teacher sticker book. I don't like that these have um, labels on top of them. Which is why I rarely use them. Unless I cut the labels off at the top. And so, let's see if we have a yellow. We do. So, I'm going to take this yellow, these two yellow ones, and using my scissors, I'm just going to cut top five right off of there on both. And then I'm going to lay that down on Tuesday. 
oh, on Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm just doing something a little bit different, utilizing my checklist and things like that more this week. Um, I will be going to small groups Monday, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I won't be reteaching anything. Um, on those two days. Actually, there's a little bit of a sticker issue, so I'm just going to fix what I can. And as you can see, I ripped it a little bit. Well, how do you fix that? Simple. Find a sticker that works, like this one that says smile more, and place it on top. And there you go. Um, let's see what else we have that I want to put down. And I'm going to put a sticker down on Friday because I'm not going to be at school on Friday. So I'm going to lay it actually because I'm going to use a long weekend sticker. So I'm going to lay it here. And this happy day sticker is going to go here. And this think happy thought sticker is going to go here. I need a little motivation on Monday, so I'm definitely utilizing that. Um, so I think I'm through as far as laying down my stickers. I do need a long weekend sticker, so I'm going to grab this pink one. Because I do have a long weekend scheduled. And I'm going to put it right here no because i'm going to use this whole space here for my my assignment for my students so i want to lay out enough work for them to do now one thing i have not worked on is a subfolder and even though it's halfway through the year already i'm going to get one done and it'll be one that I can use for years to come. So I'm gonna work on that as well um, over the Christmas break. So you will definitely still see some teacher videos during break time. All right, so yeah. Now I'm going to tie in and I know that it's gonna make it a little bit eclectic, um, but I'm going to grab I have a couple of sticker sheets that are Christmassy, and I'm just going to grab this one that says Merry and Bright, and I'm going to put it here on Tuesday, and then I'm going to grab Holly Jolly, and I'm going to lay it on Thursday, and then I want to just grab this. This little hot chocolate cup and lay it on Monday. Yeah, I think that is so cute. Just to give me a little bit of Christmas going on. Um, the pens that I'll be using is this Uniball Signal pen. I absolutely love the way it writes. Um, I want to tie in a little bit of pink. And I think that's all I'm going to use because I don't have my green up here. So let's get started here. So we are already testing today. So we'll be doing already reading today. Well, on Monday. And then we'll be doing already math on Tuesday. Um, 
we're going to begin working on main idea, which is RI 5.2. And we're going to do an interactive notebook page. And then we are going to do some independent practice. On Tuesday, we're going to do main idea houses. And on Wednesday, we're going to do a quick check. And we're going to do a sorting activity. We're going to do a review. I'm going to do a quiz on main idea. And I'm going to pull 65% um, and below small group. And I'm going to skip Friday because I'm going to be out. Um, since I really don't do much for language on Tuesdays, I'm going to lay um, a sticker there. It says, you got this. But it's going to cover up my practice a little bit, but it's okay because I can fix it very simply. Independent practice. I, I know what that means, so I'm going to keep it moving. All right, Tuesday, we're just going to do um, a five-a-day review. And we're going to talk about complex sentences and building better sentences we're going to do an interactive notebook page on sentences oh and we're going to look at paragraph writing too and i'm going to put qg here and what that means is quick glance just kind of glance over it with my kids i don't like to hit them with too much complex sentences is a review building better sentences is a review and then i'll be hitting paragraph writing so we'll do an independent independent an interactive notebook page on sentences and paragraph writing on wednesdays wednesday And then we'll do some independent practice paragraph writing. And then I'm going to talk to them about editing and revising. Okay, on writing, we're going to be talking about opinion writing. We're going to do a would you rather activity. spell tonight um, and then we're going to watch a debate uh, we're going to do a class debate and then we're going to do some independent practice writing based on debate and then students are going to begin working on first independent piece, first um, opinion piece. All right, we got a quiz on week nine. We're going to follow that up with an intro to 10. Then we're going to um, Article 1 and Article 2 and Class Discussion. We're going to do Article number 3. We're going to do Crossword Puzzle. Then we're going to do Think and Review. 
and we're going to do um, review for quiz next week. Quiz is going to be 12, 18. Small group, we're going to be um, doing some tier two documentation on Tuesday. And we're going to do tier two on Wednesday. But we're also going to work on main idea. And we're going to use the ready book to do it. Main idea. Ready. Main idea. Reteaching will be happening um, if I have any. So I'm definitely going to be reteaching 65% or below. And I'm going to reteach all of the students with exit ticket issues. And I'll grab those before I do my small group. Um, action items, I don't have any yet, but I'm probably going to have some between Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and find my favorite stickers, which are the clipboard stickers, if you didn't know. And they should be in the... I tell you what, let's pull this up. This Think Happy Thought sticker. Let's pull this up. And I'm going to just lay it down over here. And instead of using that, I'm going to lay my to do sticker here for an action item. And I'm going to lay down this pink sticker with these gorgeous, um, this pink and coral sticker love that and then i'm going to put a quote down right here uh that says first i drink the coffee then i do the things and i'm gonna leave that blank so i have some space to write so now finally the last step is what my students are going to be working on while i'm going so we're gonna do our ready and I'm going to have, um, they have to do their normal 45 minutes. And then I'm going to have extra lessons for some. All right, that's first. The next thing that they're going to do is a main idea. Activity on go formative so that they can submit that then they're going to complete a um, paragraph on go formative it's going to be from a writing prompt And then finally, they're going to work in the language books. Purple. All right. So then I need to make sure. Now, one of the, I am going to use this one up here that says to do, to remind myself to record instructions for. Friday sub and to submit um, absent form okay so there you have it that is the completed spread for this week in my teacher planner it's hard to believe that we've completed a 
full semester. Next week will be a full semester completed. If you guys want to see all of the things that I have done over the course of from August to December, I'll definitely do a flip through video. That can be one of our Tuesday videos as well. Also, over the break, I will be doing a 2018 setup for the remainder of the semester. And then I'll be talking about um, how I'm utilizing my notebooks and things that I want to revamp as far as how my planning is going for my teaching side of everything. So keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I'll be so happy to respond. If you guys have any videos that you want me to watch, leave the link below. I'll be happy to support you. Um, and happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.